Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now, what I have for you this evening is some information. Now, on earlier this month, on January the 4th, 2020, I went to a self-defense and information seminar. Now, the information I'm going to um, read to you today is going to be more than one take. Here it is. Now, I'm going to give credit. Well, credit is due um, because this information, um, this research data right here, it comes from and was published in the Final Calls newspaper on December the 4th, 2019. So certainly after a month it was published, I received. And now without further ado, I am certainly going to give this information to you. Now it's going to take us more than one take. So this is going to be take one. I'm going to do approximately uh, 10 minute takes until we um, complete this information right here. And for the title of this, it is entitled Hurting, Hunting, Black Girls and Women. Richard B. Muhammad, Brian 18X Crawford, and Brian E. Muhammad. And take one, it reads such. Facing a devastating sex trafficking crisis, not limited to vans, strangers, and abductions. Social media warnings of white vans that lock from the outside and follow school buses. Arrest in several states. Accounts from black women about kidnap attempts. And thousands of missing women and girls have raised fears about increased sex trafficking in the black community. The problem, however, is wider than strangers snatching young girls and women. Though that happens, it includes a plethora of abuses and failures, said advocates fighting to end the screws. The Black and Missing Foundation says Black people, just 13% of the American population, are almost 40%, 232,881 of all missing persons, Black women, just 7% of the America's population, are 10% of all reported missing persons cases, said the foundation. In 2018, roughly 64,000 black women and girls went missing, it said. African-American youth are at an increased risk for domestic minor sex trafficking with being female, living in an urban area, and experiencing abuse prior to trafficking, all being factors that are associated with risk for sex trafficking. Of the over 300,000 minors in the United States who are victims of domestic sex trafficking, it is estimated that 43% are African American girls, according to research by Thelma Bryant Davis, PhD, uh, Pepperdine University. The U.S. 
Justice Department has reported that of confirmed sex trafficking victims whose race was known, 26% were white and 40% were black. Advocates and survivors believe many missing women and girls are victims of sex trafficking. A 15-year-old Houston girl ended her life in mid-October. The young Latina disappeared at age 13, was drugged and sex trafficked. Her family found her two years later, but she was never the same. Family members were heartbroken when she killed herself. Who cares about black girls, women? Hmm. A few years ago, around 80 girls in Washington, D.C. were missing in a month. And it was crazy to me that nobody was talking about this. I started doing research and couldn't find anything about it, said Imani Blair, a Virginia-based rap artist. She made a song in a video called Shoot 'Em" about Black women being abducted and taken against their will. Nobody was talking about it. No news was talking about it. And that made me feel some kind of way. And the more research I've done, it, the more I've learned that this is really a big problem in our community. The video for Shoot 'em features powerful images. In one scene, Miss Blair pulls up to a gas station with a group of suspicious men sitting in a nearby car. She doesn't notice them watching from the time she pulls into the gas station. Walks in and then out again. She's on her phone. Oblivious to her surroundings. Before she is surrounded and forced into the trunk of a car. The images are haunting, but at the same time, all too real because this kind of scenario does play out in the black community and other neighborhoods. In addition to abductions and kidnappings, young women and girls are often lured into the life by promises of love, fame, money, or all three. They can also be sold from one trafficker to another. In other cases, young women have done have gone, excuse me, to parties and found themselves held captive, beaten, and forced into sexual slavery. Chandra or Chandra Cleveland, based in Columbia, South Carolina, is an expert who deals with sex trafficking, sex torsion and sexual exploration exploitation excuse me much of her work focused on highly vulnerable female runaways among the girls was a common pattern a friendship with an older male who influenced them as i kept hearing the stories after they had been gone for days it started added up like this was a plot, said Miss Cleveland, who runs a group called It's On Me, too. Uh, someone knew what they were doing in order to get these girls. Having worked in law enforcement for more than 30 years and uh, through her organization, Miss Cleveland gained experience working with sexual exploited women and girls. She believes more awareness is needed through training and focusing on sex trafficking, missing females, and violence against girls and women. She conducts community training 
as well as sessions at schools, colleges, and even corporations. That does complete our 10 minute take for take one. So certainly stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 for take two of hurting, hunting, black girls and women. So until next time, I want for you to be well, take care, be blessed, and it be at thy will. I will talk with you soon here on the Palm Praise 2. So till next time. Later, y'all.